Putin lays out his terms for ceasefire in Ukraine. Putin has outlined conditions for a ceasefire in Ukraine that require significant concessions from Kyiv before negotiations can begin. Speaking to Russian ambassadors in Moscow, Putin stated that Ukraine must withdraw its troops from regions Russia claims to have annexed, including Donetsk, Luhansk, Kherson, and Zaporizhia. Additionally, he demanded that Ukraine abandon its aspirations to join NATO. These terms were swiftly criticized by Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, who likened Putin's demands to a Hitler-like ultimatum. Zelensky reiterated Ukraine's stance that peace talks cannot commence until Russian forces withdraw completely from Ukrainian territory, including Crimea, which Russia annexed in 2014. Putin's announcement coincides with a summit in Switzerland where leaders from 90 countries are gathering to discuss pathways to peace in Ukraine. Notably absent from the summit is Russia, which has not been invited. The summit aims to foster discussions based on international law and the UN Charter to achieve a just and lasting peace in the region. International reactions to Putin's conditions have been critical. US Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin dismissed Putin's demands, emphasizing that Russia has illegally occupied Ukrainian territory and cannot dictate terms for peace. NATO Secretary General Jen Stoltenberg similarly criticized Putin's proposal, stating it lacks sincerity. Meanwhile, Ukraine continues to receive international support. At the recent G7 summit, leaders agreed to utilize interest generated from frozen Russian assets to aid Ukraine's defense against Russian aggression. This financial support is part of broader efforts to bolster Ukraine's economy and its capacity to withstand the ongoing conflict.